Yeah, good morning. Good morning, my great people. My great and wonderful and the positive minded people from Nigeria. Good morning. Like you can see, my voice is really low, really low. Really low. It's a shame. My heart bleeds for my country. My heart is really bleeding for that country called Nigeria. It's a shame. It's a shame that we've gotten to this all-time low. To this all-time low in in our history. This is the most this is the worst of the worst for Nigeria as a country. In the history of Nigeria as a country. When we gained our independence in 1960 from the British colonial master, this is the worst of the worst, all-time low. Since I grew up to this my adulthood, to the best of my knowledge, this is the worst of the worst state I've seen that country to be. Even the uh, Abacha era was even much more better. It was a military era. Now we are saying we are in democratic era. Look at how lawlessness and psychophancy has been the order of the day in our country. How some idiots come out to, to give legitimacy to, to lawlessness just because they just want to, to feed the ego of their political uh, leaders or the ones they believe that can feed them for the, for the now. It is so very, very, very wrong. What? How did we come to this point in our history as a nation that was supposed to be the giant of Africa? We are now the ridicule of all, all countries in Africa. Globally, we are a people that has been disgraced everywhere we go to. We have a leader that is not functioning. And there are some people that are collaborating with that leader to say that leader is performing. Bringing us back to a paria state, just like the Abacha era. Oba Matthew, please help me to share. I can see that you're with me, you're listening. Please help me to share. I want to, I want to give some intellectual message to our people back home that says that Buhari is performing. Buhari is performing. Buhari is performing. He's building on something. I don't know where these people got this, uh, where they got this misconception from. They are so myopic in their understanding of what leadership or what good governance is all about. Our people back home are really not getting it. There's us that are from diaspora that can see what's happening to that country. That country is in the dark. The people there need redemption. The people that are, that are being oppressed and the leaders, both they both need redemption because people living in Nigeria today are not even knowing what it is, mm -hmm. what is right from wrong anymore. They don't know. People living in Nigeria today don't know what is right from wrong anymore. In in a, in a nutshell, as a as a result of that, we are we that are able to see the light, we we, we keep on educating them that they are in the darkness because that is not how a country that should be the sixth largest exporter of crude oil to the world should be like. That is not how a country like Nigeria should be like. Because people feel, it's, they just feel it's normal. It is normal. Africans, black men, we, we don't, black men by nature are not a, they are not a adventurers to make something better for themselves. They always want to get the comfort zone. People are moving ahead invented things. The Chinese were a colony of the, uh, the British as well. The Chinese, the Chinese were a colony of the British as well. But how come? Sorry, I have to cut off that call. My brother, I'm on live video, I'm on, on audio broadcast. You can join my can join me. I just want to try some issues bothering us. How the mentality of Nigerians have gone so low, all time low. The mentality of Nigerians is not in a position to redeem Nigeria anymore. 
It is we in diaspora that can redeem that nation. If we want to think that Nigerians are willing to liberate themselves, those Nigerians in Nigeria are not, in Nigeria are not willing. It is just a few percentage that have the ability or the wherewithal to know the state of mind of how the country have gone so depressed. The country is depressed. It's a fair state. It's a anything in the book. You can just call a country that is not functioning. The mock us now. We're not, we are not being ridiculed all over the world. Some people will say Buhari is working. I wonder from what yastic those so myopic school of thought people think Buhari is working. Buhari that came out in 2011 said he wanted a revolution under Jonathan Goodluck. Jonathan Goodluck was boosting our economy. We are a global force. We are we are reckoned in Africa to be a an economy that was supposed to be in the next four years to be a force in the world. But what did Buhari do to that? All that uh, Jonathan left. Buhari left it for the Fulani Hairs man to take it down the drain. What Buhari is giving us is killing, 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 killing Fulani Hairs man. Nothing. Nothing in the book to tell us that this is a, this is a master plan. Buhari came. He said, we are getting a dollar. We are getting to, he is coming now to say, we are getting a naira to become one dollar. Those promises were all lies. He said he's coming to give us a, a, a subsidy that there will no need for subsidizing our petroleum, whatever. Those are all lies. You see the amount he projects for subsidy this, all his uh, tenure in office. You now know that this man is a, he's a master planner, he's an hypocrite, the worst of the worst hypocrite. Then our people are not getting it. So people will not feel comfortable being in APC. That, go, that party that, are, that came with lie. They said they, were, they are going to change what PDP left, but they came to bastardize PDP's. PDP era was even was even like a one being in paradise, if I may use that word. So in a nutshell, the APC government has failed Nigerians, and Nigerians back home should really understand that this government has failed them. And Nigerians not thinking like human beings anymore. I'm asking myself, yeah, making this broadcast, I'm asking myself, and Nigeria is not feeling this flight like we that are in Europe, feeling, we feel it. All they do is to ask us money, the government is not functioning, they keep on demanding, demanding, demanding in, from us in diaspora. And we in diaspora are saying that this government is absolutely wrong. We don't need this government. This government is anti-people. This government is... Is corrupt more than PDP government. This government of APC is the worst thing that has ever happened to Nigeria. Nigerians back home should wake up from their slumber. This government is the worst, is the worst in the history of my existence on earth in Nigeria. Or rather, in my existence of being alive. This government is something else. A, a government that values the, the life of cow more than human being. And some people, some Nigerians will not be bold to say it. And there was a call for a peaceful revolution. And you guys were not out on the street to demonstrate. Even at then, I was even expecting that you guys should be on the street after this election was held. This election was no election. It was a force. It was a it was an enforcement of APC government on, on the people of Nigeria. It was a, a like a conquered territory. We are conquered by the APC military government of Nigeria, being led by Buhari, the former uh, dictatorial uh, military government of uh, 1983. The Nigeria economy, the Nigeria state is being colonized by APC military government. This democracy in Nigeria is no democracy. It is not democracy. People back home telling us that this thing is democracy from all ramifications of life, or from what I see, how democracy entails in the Western world that I've seen, this thing is not democracy. You people back home that say this thing is democracy, I pity your life. I just, I, I, I'm ashamed of you guys. With all your PhDs and your degrees, you've been to the Western world, you have the freedom of speech to say what is in your mind. Where and when? Have, been, have it been a crime to say you want to change a peaceful, a, a peaceful, uh, uh, or rather you want to make a peaceful revolution? 
It was said to be a peaceful revolution, and these people said they have the authority, they can J and they can on J. They now say they would detain a man that come to say they want to make a peaceful revolution. A revolution can come in different form. It can be a false revolution, it can be a peaceful revolution. So, it's a sad thing. How did we get to this all time low? It is really sad. Nigerians, Nigerians back home. This broadcast, I'm not making it for primary school dropout. I'm not making it for uh, to get uh, viewers. I'm just saying how I feel Nigeria is now. Nigeria is not functioning. Nigeria is in a very bad state. Nigeria is in a very bad state. 200 million people who cannot get 100 million, or rather, 2 million people to be on the street to protest. The people have been conquered. They don't have consciousness anymore. They cannot function very well. They cannot reason anymore. Better, like the way they are. It's, it, it can be a crime now for them to even get light for one month, unstoppable. Sometimes if you give Nigerians light for one month, unstoppable, it will be very, very strange to them. Because they are not used to it. The this, this psychology state of, of Nigerians is not the normal state of how a man in his utmost sanity should be. Nigerians are sick. Nigerians are not functioning properly. That's why they can condo a government like the APC-led government today. I must say Nigerians are 99.9% .9 sick if they can condo a government like this. If Ghana can put or rather fix their electricity together, why can't Niger why can't Nigeria not do it? Why, my people? Why can't Nigerians not fix their country? We are we are diversified in. We don't even have anything in common. It is high time if they don't want the country to be one. Let's all of us go to our original, uh, traditional, geographical area that we came from. It is high time because Nigeria is a fair state. If we cannot live homogeneously as one, then let's go. We don't need the Ruga, we don't need the Fulani herdsmen, we don't need them. Let them go. Let them go with their cows. Let them go and find a way to get their grazing wherever for their cows. Let them leave us. And what are the Saturners doing about it? Everybody's being silent. I am making a clear call that we should take the bull by the horn. Nigerians, Buhari government is not what you need to salvage that country. This Buhari government was a mistake, a very big mistake. And the APC led government in Edo State is equally a collaborator with this APC federal system. We from Edo State don't need any APC government in, in Benin anymore. In Edo State, we don't need APC led government anymore. Anything alliance with the federal government is anti-people. This APC government is anti-people. It is anti-people. We hate it. We don't need it. We don't want it. It has brought us to the, our worst low. The APC government that came with change from change to the next level. The next level of people dying in Benin, Lagos Expressway. Benin, Lagos Expressway, see the massacre committed by the police of Buhari. See the massacre. See the corruption. You see everything being propagated by this APC government and Nigerians are silent. Nigerians are not speaking. Nigerians are saying it is well. What is well with Nigeria today, my people? It's Nigeria. Are we so, are we, are we, are we defined to go for doom? Are we doomed as a people that we said everything is okay in Nigeria? If this, if this is your yastic of being okay, then Nigeria is definitely going to be in Estin. There will be nothing called Nigeria anymore. Nigeria is not a functioning country. Nigeria is a doomed state. It's a dead state. People in Abuja are busy dividing your natural resources. You're telling us, hey, we'll get there, we'll get there. How long? How long must it take us to get there? I, I know this broker will not get to them. Because the people in the street in Nigeria, what they care is to drink pepper soup, eat uh, uh, eat human being flesh, corn beef. The Chinese are giving today. They feel good.
They feel good. They feel good what they're doing, that they are on the right track. They drink pepper soup, human beef pepper soup, corned beef pepper soup, uh, corn beef with human beef from China. They feel good. Like my, like my mega comic called them, Odeku Lazy Youths. Lazy Youths in Nigeria that cannot fight for their right. Every Dick and Harry wants to become a musician. Every Dick and Harry wants to become a comedian. A state not functioning. Everybody is going for the cheap way out. We are the engineers. We are the doctors. We are the architects to salvage a good a, a country. Nobody is taking towards that direction. Every child born of, in Nigeria today, at the age of 17, 16, he or she is an artist. He or she is an artist. Is that how you make a country great? Everybody becomes a comedian. Everybody, everybody becomes a, a musician. You must see a state that is failing. All our youth are not going to the arts. What is happening to the science industry? What is happening to the engineering industry? What is happening to the other industries? Everybody is not taking the easy way out. Uh, Alibaba, AY, have made it. Whiskey have made it in music. Name it, Timaya have made it. This is just a cheap way out to salvage your country from, from the doom that you are getting to. All the youth just want to get the easy way out. Everybody is now musician. And you think all oh, is way in Nigeria. If they are not musician, they are into Yahoo. If they are not into Yahoo, they are into Ghana. Going to, to think how to use their fathers and their mothers to, 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 to get money overnight into rituals. How did we get to this all time low in Nigeria? How did we get to this place? My people, ask yourself some questions. What happened? We should all put our voice in accord and send it to the world to know that Nigeria is in a state of coma. Nigeria is not functioning. Nigeria is, a, is in a quagmire state. Nigeria is a, is a dysfunctional setting as it is today. So, my people, my brother, I just have to feel it. I just have to say it how I feel it. Nigeria is just not functioning. If you like, take it. If you like, don't take it. Read my lips. I said Nigeria is not functioning. Nigeria is a lawless state. Nigeria is, is in a state of anarchy. If they can arrest Shore and keep him for how many days because of the lawlessness in that country. And that so-called man from Sudan or wherever he came from can just tell his DSS Though he's not functioning, he's not the one doing this. He's not, I don't think he's capable to, he's not, there are some cabas, there are the cabas doing this. So Nigerians, my people, our state, our country, I'm afraid, I'm really ashamed to call myself a Nigerian in Europe today because what I say about my country is not a thing of joy. It's not a thing of joy. It's high time we all in diaspora come out categorically and condemn this this hallucination called a government in Nigeria. This is no government. This is the worst thing that has ever happened to Nigeria. This is worse than Buhari. This, this Buhari era is worse than the Abacha era. It is worst. A military era. Then we all knew that Abacha was a military government. But this Buhari that come up flag to be a democratic government is worst, worst, worst than this. Than the uh, the, the draconia area of a uh, Sani Abacha. Buhari, power is not forever. This thing you're doing to the people of Nigeria, mark it. Mark my words. Time will tell you pay for it. You must pay for it. You will not be in Asso Rock forever. You must pay for it because the Nigerian people are getting aware. Even though you've been able to conquer those in Nigeria, people in diaspora, we are aware of your atrocities. We are aware of your master plan. We are aware of how you want to turn Nigeria to become a Muslim state. We are aware how you tactically want just to make our security department to just be insignificant to whatever your full learning helps are doing. We are so much aware. You will not, you will not, you will one day come to the high, the, 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 the court of justice in Hague for your systematic, systematic killing of the Nigerian people.
you'll be killing the Nigerian people with your Fulani hair smear. This is your systematic genocide. The International Court in Hague is waiting for you, Buhari. Your systematic killing of the Nigerian people. It, you will go to the International Court of Justice in Hague and tell the world how come you were able to keep the Fulani hairsmen to, to call them to order? When well, you can do your Python dance in the, the IPOB, uh, whatever, you can call them a terrorist organization. You can, you can call everything terrorist, but you cannot call your Fulani collaborators a terrorist organization. Killing our women, raping our, our women, bastardizing everything in our, in our villages in the south. Buhari, Samuel Do, when he was in power, he thought he is the, he is the lord of the lords. But he comes, he, there was a time he paid for it. And many people like you, you will be in International Court of Justice one day. I promise you that, Buhari. You go for the genocide you've committed against the Nigerian people because this is a genocide. It is a genocide on the Nigerian Saturnus. Nothing, not wrapping any words, anything short of it. It's a, a mass genocide you're committing on the Saturn people of Nigeria. We in Diaspora are saying no to this your genocide. It is high time we come and say no to this genocide you're committing to the Nigerian state. You are systematically and annihilating the Southerners in the military. You are annihilating the Southerners. You send them to the, the worst of the worst in the Sambisa forest. You want to kill all Southerners in the Nigerian army. You want to kill all Southerners. We in the Spirit say no to your annihilation of the Nigerian Satanas anymore. In the army, in the police, in the navy, in the air force, we say no, we don't want it anymore. We don't want it anymore. We in diaspora say no to your systematic annihilation of the Satanas in the Nigeria army, in the Nigeria air force, in the Nigeria navy, and in Nigeria whatever. We are not for that anymore. We will see your master plan. We in South Nigeria don't want to be in your army anymore. Your, your army is a means of killing us in the Boko Haram, uh, whatever you prepare for your people. You prepared it with your people to kill us. You always drag the Satanists to the Boko Haram area, the Samisa forest. We don't want it anymore. It's a sensation of our people. If you're in the army, the Buhari government sent you to Boko Haram, you're a Satana. Quickly place yourself on our. Run from the army. Run from that stupid army. It's not the Nigerian army anymore. It's a way they want to kill the Satanas. So I wish you a very wonderful day. I think this is just a brief one. I'll be coming on air as time permits me to do. Thank you very much, my great people. Have a wonderful day.